Hi guys, this is how to play the fantastic song Free Bird by Leonard Skinner. Um, only kind of five chords in the whole thing. We have got a sneaky F bar chord in there, but this also doubles up as a bit of an F bar chord tutorial and 16 strumming tutorial for all you improver to intermediate players out there. Let's get straight in for a close up on this classic song. If I leave here tomorrow would you still remember me? And that is basically the whole song up to the crazy solo sections, okay? So we have a G chord, which I will play the all fingers way of your third with your third and little finger down, to a standard D major, straight to an E minor, which I play with my first two fingers. Then things get interesting, we've got an F bar chord. Um, the start of the song starts with single strums of each chord, and then we make the strumming more interesting as we go along. So a fantastic opportunity to work on this F bar chord without worrying about um, a lot of, um, you know, a lot of crazy strumming at the same time as doing an F bar chord. So after that, the second line, F, C, and then D major. Now the D major and the E minor last for longer, so we have two beats of each chord. Um, one, two, D, four, E minor for a whole bar. Two, three, four, then F, two, three, is a C, and then D for a whole bar. Two, three, four. So if we now strum that on the beat, We'd strum G and D twice, E minor four times, F two strums, C two strums, D four times. Chord sequence is in the link in the description. Um, it's on the website embedded underneath this video and you'll wanna be following that at the same time as this video. Let's give it a go together in two, three, four. G, two, to a D. D, four, E minor, one, two, Three to an F, F bar chord to a C, C and a D. Two, three and repeat G chord. G if I D E minor two, three big bad F bar chord. Come on, you guys can do it. There it is. Three, four. Would you still remember me? That's the general gist of it. If you're really, really struggling with this F bar chord and you're thinking, oh, blimey, I've never even done one of those before. What are you asking of me here? You can do the easier F major seven, which is, I call it F like a C, which is uh, just a little nickname for it. Because if you play a C chord, a standard, and move your second and third finger down a string, you're playing an F major seven. So three notes out of the F bar chord but you're not having to bar, and this also works. So in context, if I leave here tomorrow, F major seven, would you still remember me? Does it sound as amazing and as sweet as the F bar chord played well? No, it doesn't. But you know, the F bar chord is a tricky chord to play well with open chords. Very much an improver level skill and what my improver course is gonna be about coming later this year. Um, so now we're gonna do some cool things. We're gonna add some 16 strumming, which is basically keeping our hand moving like this. We're not gonna catch every one of those. Um, but we, it is going to sound cool. And we're going to add some D sus twos and D sus fours on the final. On the final D chord. So would you still remember me? That's the place to have some fun. So what are we doing in general? If we just did 16 strumming hitting it every time, we're going to have G and a two. So that's the first level, basically, of, of this, or the next level to 
take the strumming up a gear with exactly the same chords. Let's give that a go now. One E and a two E and a is the idea. Down, up, down, up. Three, four. D, E minor. F bar chord. To a D. That's the first tier of it. Um, advice is to check out the 16 strumming video which will be in a link in the description and the F bar chord video which will analyze those two things and enable you to play exactly what I've just done. Also change a little bit earlier and arrive on the chord you're going for by that beat. So if I go one E and a two E and a and then change chord E and a four E and a there's always a pause even when I did it just then, okay? But if I go one and a two and a and a four and a If you change chord way earlier, it doesn't sound bad and it stops there being any pause because you're arriving on the next chord on the first beat of the bar. Let's have a look at that again. One and a two and a three and a lifting off. And watch this for the F bar chord, lift off. That is a better way for a beginner to practice this rather than pausing. If you pause, it's the first thing that's happened or it's the only thing that can happen if this that will totally mess things up from a rhythm point of view and you definitely want to be changing earlier if you're having pauses. Pauses are a bad thing to practice. Um, cool, the next thing we're gonna, or the last thing we're gonna do really, as well as just look at the last part of the song, is adding some D sus twos and sus fours. It does not matter wh whether you start on a D or a D sus two or a D sus four. The only advice I will give you, because every part of this is just an embellishment, is a choice. The advice I will give you is always go from uh, a normal D chord or the normal chord to a sus two, back to the normal D and then to a sus four. So whichever way you go, always go kind of through the normal chord or from the normal chord to a sus two. Um, you can go from a sus two to a sus four, but it sounds less melodic. If I go... Just from a D sus two to a D sus four, it doesn't sound as pleasant as if I go through the normal D chord. D sus two, D sus four. So that's a nice thing to add at the end there. In context... If I leave tomorrow, would you still remember the sus twos? Okay, D sus two, D sus four. If you never covered these D sus twos and sus fours before, the link is also in the description to that lesson as well. All part of my uh, beginner and improver courses. Perfect. At the end, because I'm as free as a bird now. And this bird you'll never chain. That line repeats. Slightly different lyrics, but pretty much the same. F. And this bird you cannot chain. That happens again. No one knows I cannot change. That line happens again in the song. Uh, let's just have a bit of a jam just to finish up, really. We'll have one strum of each chord and it's the same chord sequence. Do whatever strumming you find comfortable. Let's play this together, guys. Three, four. Sixteenth strumming. If I leave here tomorrow, F bar chords, would you still remember me? For I must be traveling on now. There's too many places I've got to see. Okay, 
this time we repeat the last line. Cause I'm as free as a bird now. And this bird you'll never change. That line we do again. And this bird you cannot change. That's the end of this lesson. Please leave me a comment in the description if you would like to see part two of this lesson where we'll look at uh, all the other sections of the song, but that's the end of this one. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you so much for watching, guys. Please subscribe if you like what I do. Click that big red button down there. Uh, click in this area here to see more similar songs around this level and over in that box over there to see a full free beginners course available at andyguitar.co.uk with even more bonus content, even more lessons not available anywhere else which are on the DVD and download versions of that course.